Hi everyone, welcome to Matt's Plants. So today we're going to look at quite an interesting little house plant. Uh, it's one I've been growing on and off for a few years. This is Mimosa Buddhica, also called the shy plant or the sensitive plant, and you'll see why in just a second. So as a house plant, it's quite easy to grow. Uh, I grew this from seed. Seeds are readily available on sort of eBay and various other gardening sites on the web. Uh, one serious piece of advice for this and any other sort of plant you're looking at, don't buy seeds on eBay from China. They tend to just ship you grass seed or cress seed or something really common that they have lying about. Certainly if you see seeds for multicolored plants that don't look natural or unusual Venus flytraps, just report them and don't give them any of your money because all you'll get, if you get anything at all, will be a little bag of grass seed. Nothing else will grow. So the reason this is called the sensitive plant, Mimosa buddhica, is when you touch the leaves, they, there we go, they fold up. Um, this is obviously to repel sort of insect predators. There you go. The shame plant is another word for this because they sort of turn away in shame. So the leaves fold up. So one of the few plants that moves like a Venus flytrap or something like that. But yeah. So really unusual plant, really interesting plant to grow, as they're quite readily available. So they also the leaves also close up at night um, in response to light. So to grow these, they need quite a free draining um, sort of medium. Um, so this is basically, I think this is just bog standard multipurpose compost with a load of perlite in it. They don't need a huge amount of nutrients in the soil as of where they grow. So although they are free draining, they do like a little bit of moisture. They will dry out. I've, I've found some of mine get very unhappy if they don't get watered. Um, the counterpoint to that is they also like a lot of sun. So this is on a south facing windowsill and still probably doesn't get quite enough sun because it's, you know, it's the UK and sun is a bit of a myth. Um, but equally, I've seen these growing in a glass house at Kew Gardens in relatively low light. I mean... Q presumably knows what they're doing. Interestingly, as they respond to stimulus, there's been a lot of work done on whether they will continue to respond if you keep poking them, and they don't. They actually learn. Although I read a book by a lady who, who did a lot of testing on this, and she said if you keep poking them the same way, they will stop folding up, the leaves won't fold up. But then if you do something else to them, like drop them or something else, the leaves will still fold up. So it's like, can the plant learn? Um, I read her book. I, I won't quote it because I think she'd taken an awful lot of hallucinogenic drugs it wasn't a very good book but her research was was kind of curious and certainly the ones at Kew Gardens I noticed I had a cheeky little poke like I've just done and they didn't fold up uh, so presumably very very used to visitors going along and going oh I wonder what this does boom and uh, I'm watching the leaves fold up but yeah a really interesting unusual house plant to grow relatively low humidity seems to be fine a very free draining soil uh, in a very sunny spot, they need lots and lots of light, and don't let them dry out. Like dry, dry soil is fine, but then water. Don't ever let them get that harsh, you know, sun beating down on them, and absolutely no, no liquid at all. I water this about a couple of times a week with a small amount of water. As I say, it's in quite a sunny spot. So there you go, Mimosa pudica, the shy plant, the sensitive plant, uh, really unusual, interesting little house plant.